Okay, so my phone dropped out on me again. Now let's rewind regarding Russia back at the Cold War, okay, when we had the Cold War. The general public over here in America, we were, we were told basically we were going to set the people free in Russia. Dismantle the KGB and USSR and set the people free basically. That was a lot of what the people, what we were told for as reason for going to war over there, okay, doing the cold, the whole Cold War. There's a lot of other stuff too, but that, okay. But no, that wasn't that wasn't the goal. Um, these Luciferians that run things now. Let's just be real here. The cabal, the bankers, whatever you want to call them. They did not want Russia to establish a, an oil-backed currency. What they were trying, that's what they were trying to do. And instead, we went to the war. Everything got dismantled. Russia was taken down. Um, the USSR. Their currency was rapidly reduced. The power just it, it fell. They've been living, suffering, and, and I'm talking miserable. It's been a constant chronic depression for them there no real, you know, prosperity and no real light at the end of the tunnel as far as future goes. They've been struggling. After the Cold War, we've promised them. There's lots of promises and stuff made. We were giving them grain to, he to help feed their people because they can't grow food like they need to sustain themselves. They can't have their own sovereignty. They're always living with their hands out to a cruel master. And so as punishments, we throw sanctions on them. We reduce what we give them. We reduce their ability to get what they need. And so they're tired of living like a beggar to a cruel master. They want to have their own sovereignty. They want to be able to grow their own food. They want to be able to have a decent currency, a future, and to prosper. Anybody with any sense would want that for themselves and for their own nation. America has been holding back Russia from this big time. And most people don't even know about it, at least in America. They don't understand, they don't know that Russia has their own pipeline plans that they could they could prosper if they themselves would put to use their own resources and they have plenty of oil. Okay, now the cabal wants to get rid of anything for gas and oil. They don't want us having any of that or even personal vehicles or using oil or gas, any of that. They want us as weak as possible, the general public. They want to take it all out. They want to make it a techno, net, a techno, you know, techno, a technocracy. I almost couldn't say it. And we're not friends with China. We're having, we've been having trade wars, problems. China's infiltrating America. China is a communist. So is Russia. Russia wants to stand back up on their own two feet. And these, these cabal people, these high end. Luciferians are manipulating things for greed to stay in power to keep the American dollar up even though it is worthless. And they know their time is limited. They're, they're prematurely crashing the dollar at their pace to achieve their goal, which is a worldwide digital currency. You understand? If Russia gets Ukraine and starts doing their own pipeline, an oil-backed currency and starts trading with China, and China needs that oil, baby, then the Luciferians over here, unfortunately, can't believe I have to say that, their little one-world digital crypt death cryptocurrency, death money, you know, um, animal cattle branding, mark of the beast, going globally around, the, well, around the face, the whole face of the earth, as they plan, is going to go to hell. Do you see what's happening now? If Russia takes Ukraine, why it matters so much to America and NATO? They don't want Russia taking Ukraine because Russia's going to do what Russia's going to do, have an oil-backed currency. Oil will be plentiful, and it won't be plentiful for us. No one will deal in the dollar. China and Russia are going to become best friends, and they're going to prosper together. And they're going to kick us to the, cur to the curb. And they won't be able to do their, their plan. So they are going to do their plan. The Word of God says that that mark of the beast is not going to just be in America. That's going to go across the, the whole face of the earth. So they're going to step in, and that's what we're doing. You see, the Ukraine, they're putting up defensive equipment, 
along the borders to defend themselves. But America is sending offensive equipment. Everything. So now we're in it. It's not just Russia against Ukraine. It's going to be Russia against us. It's, it's already started. So we're hearing a lot of saber rattling, a lot of problems, a lot of threats. And we're going to hear, we're going to be hearing mess with Taiwan and China and everything and India and Pakistan and problems with Israel and all kind of mess, just like Jesus Christ said. Rumors of wars, but then he says also, nations shall rise up against nation. When you do that, that's war. We're going to be here for war. We're going to see that. And I'm telling you right now, this has been in the works for a long time, obviously, but it's also Russia's trying to survive. I'm not saying they're innocent. Nobody's innocent. Russia is, is in my opinion, just another evil, evil dog. You know, dog eat dog. But, you know, they have their reasons. They also see that these Luciferians want to start doing and control the digital currency mark of the beast. And that they're going to have control. And Russia doesn't want to be trapped forever and their people in that control. They want to have a valuable oil-based currency and not have to be involved in that digital cryptocurrency. They see what's happening. They want to keep their people free from that, but underneath their, their tyrannical authoritarian dictatorship, communism. So they're evil too, but they see the, the greater evil, what's coming, and they're, they're having to make moves now because they're not going to survive. They have no future. They can't grow their own food like they need. They can't keep a population, a growing one especially, and their population is shrinking. Meanwhile, over the last 20 plus years, almost 30 years now, they've been allowing Muslims to move on up into their territory to mix and become one because Russia plans on going south, expanding south. And so it's important that, you know, because they were losing people and the populations are shrinking, not, not many of them having children to replace their parents. You have to have at least two children to replace the mother and the father. If you have just one child, and that's a common thing, you're not going to, you're going to have half your population in a generation. So you need to have more and more and more children to grow. And that's not happening. They're starving. They're struggling. It's bad. And America's not keeping their promises and giving them what was promised to help them. And still, even if America was giving them what, what, what was promised as far as grains and resources, it's still living with your hand out at the mercy of a cruel master. Russia doesn't like that. I myself wouldn't like that either. That's horrible. You want to grow your own food. You want to have future. You want to be able to prosper. You want to have a decent economy and a valuable currency. That's what Russia wants. And so China's either way. You know, China can thrive. Russia and probably would prefer to do dealings with Russia than with America to be honest but right now China needs us so much just to keep itself afloat because so much of its own economic power is based on our purchase but if Russia develops an oil-backed currency China will absolutely leave America and join up with Russia and America will be left, left in the dark. And then the, the Luciferians won't be able to spread their mark of the beast across the face of the earth. You understand? So it's a, it's a currency war. It's always been about oil. It's always been this and that. Um, America wants the, the cabal, basically. They want us off of oil and everything all over the face of the earth because they don't want Russia to have power. Because the only way Russia can have power is if they start drilling and pumping and selling and doing their own oil. They want to cut that all off. So I just want to tell you this. I want you to understand that it it's all goes back to the mark of the beast, the plan of Lucifer for his a short time. He has a very short time to get things established. And so we're getting involved with, with, with all kind of mess. We're going to be in a war. We're going to see war. Absolutely. Russia has to do this or Russia dies. And America, the, the Luciferians that rule things, they know this. And they don't want Russia throwing a wrench in their plans. So guess what? There's definitely going to be a war. That's how deep we're in. It's so much mess. Absolutely, it's going to be a war. 
Russia has to move south. Russia has to get a currency established. Russia doesn't want to be in complete, total enslavement under America forever. Okay? The handouts and being, being a slave to a cruel master, no more. They want a future. They want to be able to stand. They want to survive. And so they're going to they want to move south. And they want to get involved and deal in oil. And that's their future. That's the only way they're going to have a future. If they don't do it, they have no future. They might as well lay down and die in a ditch. And do you know anybody with their children that would just go lay down and die in a ditch? No. I don't. So we're definitely absolutely going into a war and it's not going to be pretty um, not at all now personally from the visions the Lord gave me I think that we are sidestruck like like uh, in our blind side like I believe that we are struck by China and Russia that's what I believe I've had prophetic dreams about subs coming from China manned by Chinese I was in one in a prophetic dream I was shown New York getting nuked I believe that comes from Russia. I don't know that for certain, okay? I believe it comes from Russia. But meanwhile, while we're, while we're struck by a massive nuke over the New York area, we're also bombed multiple times out of, the, out, of the, out of this world, all over the West Coast. And I think that comes from Chinese subs, SLBMs, okay? That's what I think. But that it's going to happen in the, in the middle of the day. I was shown this. It was, it's it's going to happen in the middle of the day. Almost like a surprise attack. And so I'm trying to share this with you. So please go into it. Pray over it. Check into it. Trying to find out more what you can. But it's time to, to really buckle down and get ready. And repent and get close to the Lord. Absolutely make your choice. Like many people... Um, they don't believe in Jesus. They don't care. They, they, like, they like being their own God, their own Lord. But you can't save yourself. You have no future. You're damned in that, that way. And many things are going to happen that are going to come upon us so rapidly. It's going to absolutely put a lot of people, I mean a lot of people in, in a horrible shock. And it's time to be sober and serious and resolute in our decision and not to be lukewarm to be for the Lord all the way and to be obedient and in faith get yourself ready in every way get ready because we're gonna see some things and it's gonna be real epic so just get ready okay understand this is going down this is going down. Jesus don't play. He don't lie. It's in the holy word of God, and it's coming. So I just wanted to share this with you. Um, I hope to be back on here as soon as possible. I have more things I want to share with you. Um, talk to you soon.